So unexpected charges for moving data between on-prem and public cloud resources are a common complaint that I'm hearing from enterprises these days. You know, Dave, we never thought it was going to be this expensive, you know, those sorts of things. They didn't understand what the costs were going to actually be and kind of what falls on the enterprises. In other words, the public cloud providers are not going to hide these fees from you as far as what they cost. They're going to basically uh, publish the per gigabyte charge for moving information in and out of the public cloud providers. But enterprises are very poor at understanding how much that's going to be. And so some instances they may estimate you know, that a few gigabytes a week may move between the public cloud providers and the on-prem systems, but it turns out being hundreds and thousands of gigabytes a week. And then those things really add up. And suddenly it's cost prohibitive for them to leverage public cloud assets if they're moving information uh, in and out of those assets. So hidden fees for accessing data stored in different cloud providers is really where, where this comes to. Again, they're not really hidden. They're just difficult to figure out. And the public cloud providers are very good at the fine print aspect of this. And in many cases, enterprises just consider the amount of money they're going to burn in leveraging these public cloud services and not necessarily sending to information to and from those services. So the cost implications of replicating and synchronizing data across environments is in many cases prohibitive. And I think that that's one of the taxes in moving to a hybrid cloud environment. By definition, we're leveraging a hybrid between on-prem assets and resources and public cloud resources. And obviously they have to exchange information. Enterprises are very bad at figuring out what that information is and how big that information uh, is going to be and how much price they're going to pay. And that may be on the enterprises. I think the cloud providers could do a better job in making those a bit easier to understand. But I seeing, I, I'm seeing that over and over again as a big deterrence for enterprises moving into hybrid clouds because of the cost. So next would be licensing Labyrinth and Shadow IT. 